Hello everybody, just to let you know, I've been held to ransom here. I cannot eat a morsel until I've completed this interview. <laughs> Yes, I really enjoy playing the Griffin in a production of Alice in Wonderland. And they cut the script down to, this here lady wants full to know your history. But I had this wonderful costume that I had flappy wings, although the Griffin didn't actually fly. And uh, I really enjoyed it. That was my favourite role. Um, well, I started out on the stage, so I always say that's, like, that's my favourite, and mainly because you've got the rapport and the feel of the audience, so a live audience is always good, but I love it all. To be absolutely honest, my favourite job is the next one that's going to pay the gas bill. Um, yes, uh, there are various, really, and I've actually got to work with one. Paul Schofield. Uh, was a theatre actor who I greatly respect, and I actually got to work with him. Um, in film, I quite liked James Cagney. I wouldn't refer to them as a mentor as such, uh, but uh, James Cagney I really, really liked. The president of my drama college uh, was Denham Elliott, and in some sort of way he became a, a mentor in that he gave me good advice when I started out. So. Uh, he, he just said, keep going, nobody will take you seriously until you're about 40, which he was, which he was absolutely right. In America in particular, they love English actors, and they're forever standing around in groups, and they say, we don't care what you say as long as you don't stop. <laughs> so, uh, um, uh, and um, things are a bit more relaxed in America, I think, in some ways. And they're always keen to try and do anything off the hoof. And if they find you're in town, they'll just book you. Over here in the UK, that wouldn't necessarily happen so much. I don't think. It's the best part of the job. Uh, to be honest, uh, 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 the conventions are more important to me now because I actually get to meet the fans. And I know it sounds a bit dark, but uh, without the fans, I wouldn't be here. So. Uh, I really enjoy meeting them. Uh, some of them are rather eccentric, so I always have lots of tales to tell. So, uh, most of them are absolutely glorious and fantastic. And then you've got a few oddballs, but then that's the same as that's life, really, isn't it? So. The Americans uh, are more gregarious and, more, and very quick to show their appreciation of everything. The English do love you, but they are a little more reserved. The Australians, as long as you put in an expletive, they love you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's about true, really. There's, there's various actually, uh, stemming from the convention, I've put together my own one-man show called My Dalek Has a Puncture and it went down a storm in Australia uh, and in America and uh, on the back of that I'm actually putting together a UK tour. I've already got two dates, isn't that exciting? Yeah. 4th of April in Stevenage and the 15th of October, this is 2014, um, in Epsom. But uh, there'll be more, I'm absolutely certain. So there's that. Also, um, uh, I've got a couple of web series that are coming out. There's Waterside, the first episode of which is uh, uh, already aired. And we're going to go to a third series. Uh, that's very exciting. There's another web series called Freesome. We're going to go to a second series. And uh, BBC Four uh, have commissioned a series of a, a comedy show called Puppy Love. And I shall be filming that in May. So it's all very exciting. It's more telepathy, so I can actually step to one side when the rock, the bomb or the fist is heading towards me.